Cass with Lee Southwick, your uh, outfit today matches the nice blue skies behind you. Oh, well, thank you. If we could just keep them around, that would be great. Okay, well, we'll work on it. Okay. I think we have some good news coming up. Love but that. First, let's talk about the rain out there right now. Okay. I know it's what we've been talking about for several days now, but it is a nice start. You can see a little bit of clouds out there in the sky, cloud cover, but when we take a look at radar, it's mostly dry right now. We are tracking a bit of downpour activity for those along the coast in our southwestern areas. A lot of that lift towards Morgan City, a little bit of sprinkle activity near and to the west of Thibodeau. So something that we will keep an eye on. Visibility slightly reduced in Bogalusa and in Holma. The rest of us clear, no fog, good to go. Temperatures out there right now in the 70s. It is a muggy start to your Saturday. Later on today, highs will likely top out in the 80s. It will be partly sunny and there is a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms today. Where those thunderstorms develop, it has a heavy rain risk. We could see some excessive rainfall, which would lead to localized flooding. That's why we have been highlighted under a marginal risk. That's a level one risk, though, a low risk of perhaps some localized street flooding. But don't cancel your outdoor plans. It's not going to be a complete washout. Just bring an umbrella to anything you do, including the red dress run. It is going to be a warm and muggy start. And then as we head through the afternoon hours, we will see more showers and thunderstorms develop. Temperatures again sitting in the 80s. By this evening, we are falling through the 80s. Rain chances fall as we head through the evening as well. So overall, here's a look at future rain chances. Again, in the afternoon hours, we could start to see some develop widely scattered by the lunch hour, becoming a bit more scattered in activity, showers and thunderstorms through the afternoon hours and into the early evening. And then it starts to drop back and dissipate for the overnight hours. So overnight tonight, we're going to see lows in the 70s, mild and humid, partly cloudy, a little bit of patchy fog is possible again tomorrow morning. You can see that showing up here. Overall, I don't anticipate any big problems when it comes to fog. Then tomorrow, mostly sunny, only a 30% chance of rain. We are going to start to dry out. That will make temperatures hotter though, moving back into the 90s with more sunshine. But that system that brought us all of that rain now moving off to the west towards Texas, the National Hurricane Center still giving it a low chance of development, a 10% chance, but they really don't see this organizing. They actually canceled the hurricane hunters trip that was scheduled for later on today. All models point this going towards South Texas for the most part. It is not our problem, not our concern. Whether this develops or not, though, it will bring a lot of rain to parts of Texas as we start to dry out. So check this out. As we head through the day today, this system continues to move towards South Texas. We see a few pop up showers. Then tomorrow, likely making landfall in Texas, whether it really develops and forms or not. And notice how we are much drier because all of that moisture has moved off to the west. So we are starting to dry out and that drier air will stick around. Not completely dry, 30% chance of rain. That starts tomorrow and I think that will stick around through the middle of the upcoming work week.